Okie dokie, in this video we're talking about um, caching and um, roots in Naush, Naush.sh. Um, in um, other, like with Netlify, when I've used it in the past for things like um, for my CV, this is also moved over to Naush, but I'm just going to get this as an example. When you hit a bad route, um, you get redirected to the 404 here. Um, needs a bit of work this one <laughs> but um, if you do that on the local host log and you hit a hit a route here which doesn't exist let's do that now you get this um, now dot uh, the, the, like the, the Zite um, 404 page um, and I, I did a bit of digging and um, Basically, this isn't sort. Of, this isn't supported as yet. I don't think um, there's. I think there's an issue open with it at the moment, um, and um, it's just for caching as well. I noticed there was issues with um, things not um, updating when I pushed an update, um, and I found this uh, Gatsby plugin um, right now. So this will do. Um, all of the routes for you, well not all of them, but um, it, it, it does the default ones here and if you have your own ones per route, um, so if you want different ones for your about page here, um, then you can amend them um, as you need to via the Gatsby config. So we're going to use that in uh, the local host block. So um, let's go to this and open up our code editor. I think I've already got it open. Here we go. Um, and we are just going to want to install yarn add, um, not plugin feed. Let's be plugging right now. On the local host, on my develop branch. And um, while that's installing, we're going to configure it. So uh, basically it's just this whole object here um, and we're going to copy that into our config file. So we'll do control P, uh, Gatsby config. So it's command P, I think if you're on Mac, uh, I'm on Linux. So if I do control P, you get this little pop-up menu and you can say, start typing in the file you want, so config. Okay, so we're now going to scroll down here and um, I'm going to plop this at the bottom here and we're going to call it a day at that let's replace these with back ticks um, that's a control D or command D I like the same uh, thing you've got highlighted in VS Code so if I do that control D cycle through and highlight all of them you could mend them all in one point now um, that's enough of the uh, keyboard shortcuts though so, uh, we've got our config, save that. Um, so this is this works for caching as well, um, which is um, what I mentioned earlier. Um, some images weren't updating and uh, um, set to a hard refresh every time. You can't ask users to do that. So um, that's what I did, what we need, uh, add in some caching. So it looks like that has gone in. Um, so it's just a case now of committing this and pushing it. Um, I didn't actually put it in its own branch, so I'm just going to have to push this straight to master. Um, so let's just say um, add and configure this thing. No, not that. Definitely not that. Let's be. Okay. Um, let's commit that and uh, we'll push it so we can do it with this or we can do it via a um, site called hub um, which it allows you to do a lot of github related things from your terminal so I can do hub browse here and it will pop open uh, the github page for the, the project um, go over to our uh, caching with now sh move this over to in progress um the reason why i did that was just so i could do a um i've got it i've got hub aliased as under git so 
So I can do um, a pull request from here and I can do a pull request to the branch, which is master, hit enter. Oh, and uh, I'm going to need to um, push my changes. That's what the arrow is here for. And I haven't pushed anything up to the uh, repository. So try that again. Okay, so add and bigger plugin right now. Um, and a lock file, pizza wrapper, um, just some other minor changes to go in there. So write this out in nano. And we do um, that was control O to write it out and then control X, close it. And then we'll get our link to our pull request here. So if we click on this, take us to our open pull request. Um, like, no. And uh, right now is doing its thing. If we hover over this details here, we get the project which is building on um, on site now. And we'll have our sort of deployment overview. It takes a couple of minutes on here. Um, and this should be okay to go. So once this um, finishes building, we're just gonna go to visit here and then we'll check, we'll just put in a bad route and uh, see what it does then. So in the meantime, um, take a look at what else we've done to the site since the last video. Um, or we could just uncomfortably wait um, another minute or so for this to build. So I think we'll actually just go to the site. Um, so let's just close the documentation here. This example here, um, this is what someone's done themselves, um, written out their own uh, config, which is what I found before I got across, came across this um, this this plugin for for Gatsby. So um, thank you for that universe. Uh, that's the, the maintainer of it. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, there's there's issues with um, the class 404 and, and the routing, but um, I haven't actually came into many other issues, um, apart from what I just went over at the top of the, the video here. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it's saying this is done here. So uh, we can go visit the site and you'll see on on my GitHub page, this has got it as um, complete now, so I can merge it. I'm just gonna go straight ahead, <coughs> sorry, uh, and merge that. Um, but we'll take a look at the um, the generated link from Naush and then we'll put in the bad route. And then we should get a 404, yep. And another, yet another 404 needs a lot of work done on it. Um, so we could do that now actually, very, very quickly. But the pages, 404 is this, and it's just wrapped up in a P. What we could do is bring in our layout component here. Wow, if I could type. Um, auto import from React, now we wanna import it from components. So imports, um, it's not an array from components layout cool and then we hit save um, and we're probably going to need to push that back up um, but for now we could just test it locally by running um, our dev server so go on dev Okay, so while that's doing that, um, we should be able to go to um, top of the dashboard, um, and then we'll pick out local host blog here. That looks red. Yeah, this deployment had an error. So um, I'm coming across this quite a lot with um, the local host blog um, and some other um, apps I've got and. Uh, which I'm using on here, but I have found if, um, not domain, Scott, I found if um, click on the view logs, because these ones in the part, these um, ones which have already been run on, say, development here, this one's ready to go. 
if this one failed, like this one here, um, you just go into into the page and then just hit this button here, which will redeploy it. Um, but when it's like the main, um, like the production deployment, there's no option on here, so it's not immediately obvious. But if you click on this view logs, and then it will take you to the same sort of screen. So in redeploy here. It redeploys it to all of these um, URLs, but it's broken currently, so we need to do that. Um, and I have found that's what helps um, in, in that case. Okay, so waiting for this to do that, um, and for my dev server to, to to finish as well. So let's go have a quick drink. Excuse me. Okay, yummy. Um, um, after a recent update, I've noticed that um, Node on my Linux machine is just is just smashing the CPU and just making things really really slow for me. So um, yeah, look, all the CPUs are maxed out here. Um, I'm just struggling on with it at the moment. Um, I do apologise if it's um, quite painful to watch, um, but um, it should be sorted out shortly. Um, so we're just waiting for this to complete here so we can take a look at the 404 page. Um, and while that's happening, we could take a look at um, our uh, production deploy. This is still a good minute away from, from, from completing. So uh, we'll have to wait for that too. Um, okay, so um, I'll open that in a new window. A sticky mouse, for some reason it does that. Um, uh, development bundle nearly done. Okay, cool. So here is the fix just after making the changes for that 404. So hitting this bad route here, um, it will show us all the available routes, um, and then one of them is the 404. Like that. So now it was just this nope, but we've added in the header. Um, what could possibly do, <laughs> absolutely do um, a lot more with that. Uh, but for now, that is fine. Um, there's that, which is done. There's our, okay, let's see how this is doing. So this is done this time. And I'm um, just waiting for the, uh, the the deployments to get pushed to the domains so um, should just be able to go from here um, so when it completes it just takes you to the um, takes you to the deployment so again I could just put in a bad URL and then yeah we should get our 404 our terribly styled 404 so um, the, the local host and then we'll put in our bad route here so this should be deployed there you go. Um, cool. So that's all up and running. Hope you found that useful. Um, it was a bit of a, a bit confusing for me to begin with, um, but um, as, as with most things in Gatsby, <laughs> there's always a plugin for it. Um, so I'm glad I worked my way through through that one with you. Um, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, and if you did, or if there's something I missed, please um, make a comment, reach out to me on Twitter, um, and then um, I'm more than happy to be corrected and uh, find out if there's a better way to do it. Um, but for now, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please remember to like the video. And if you loved it, please subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.